So I've been asking, where's the code? Where's the code? So I'll start with that, okay? The code for this demo is on GitHub. Uh, you can go to the dagger.org. It's uh, the registry redirect. And the registry redirect is a fork from the chainguard dev registry redirect. Basically, whenever you pull a chainguard image, you're using that registry redirect app, which is a Go app that we forked, and we are also using ourselves. Cool. So it's just a regular Go repository, nothing special about it. Um, there is a um, some Terraform stuff there, the main Go. Um, have a look at it again, nothing special about it. Um, the one thing which I want to point out, though, is the mage files directory. Now, this is a special directory which Mage recognizes. What is Mage? Mage is a make-like command runner. If there is a Mage files directory, and if you have the Mage tool, just by running Mage, it shows you what targets are available in all the files in the Mage files directory. So just like some special wiring. Cool. Now, the targets that are available in this repository are all auth, build, so on and so forth. Now, if you run mage all, I'm wondering what happens. And by the way, anyone can pull this. And if you have mage installed, anyone can run this. Nothing special about it. So a bunch of things happened very quickly. This was cached. Um, first of all, it doesn't authenticate Docker. Um, why? Because this only happens in CI in the main branch. So my Docker is left untouched, the local one. Uh, it resolves some images, it's run, this is the Golang one, the Golang CI lint, I'm pretty sure you know where this is going, it's linting, it's testing, it's building, making sure everything works. Uh, you can see resolving here, where's the test, transferring host, results, resolve. I think it was somewhere down here, but it's so quick that you don't even see it. If this was running in CI, it would also publish the image, it would build an image, it would publish an image, and it would also deploy an image, okay? So let's just have a quick look at the files. So if you go into the mage files, and by the way, I'm using uh, LVIM, Lunar VIM. Uh, that's what my L alias is for. So again, there's the main.go, and the main go, it just basically makes everything work with mage. Uh, this is in the docs, it's very simple. Uh, the go mod, the go sum. I think the interesting thing in the go mod is this dagger require, 046. Uh, now, there is a new version, so that's the one of the things that we will be doing. We'll be updating this. Um, and then here is where everything Dagger-related happens. So what is that? Well, those targets that we've seen, for example, lint, this is where that is declared in terms of the code. Now, there's a Dagger client. It calls a function, lint, which is right down here. And again, this may look very familiar, right? If, you, if you've used Dagger... Um, there's a container, basically just the image, uh, the mounted cache, we already know about that, mounted directory, and then it just runs it, Golink CI, lint. Cool. So there's a few more things there. I think the most interesting one, the one that we ran, was the all. So let's just have a quick look at the all one. Let's find it where it is. Okay, so lints, tests, auths, builds, publishes, uh, and deploys a new version of the app. Um, as you can see, basically, there's a to-do here to improve this, but basically it uh, reuses the lint test and auth exactly as they've been declared, and then it just publishes here and also deploys. Cool. So let's make a few changes and see what happens. The first change which I want to make, again, there's like a few versions. I pulled them up. They're constants. Uh, let's see if there is a newer Fly CTL. And I know there was earlier, uh, so let's pull the latest 482. So I'm going to change this very quickly, 482. Uh, again, we are working towards a pull request, right? We're going to make some changes live. We're going to see how this works in CI. And again, because this is public, you will all be able to follow uh, through with this. So that's the one thing. Alpine version hasn't changed. Go, this is already the latest. Um, again, this is the latest. So really the only thing which I wanted is, is this one. Um, there's a couple of interesting things here, basically when it comes to deploys. And I'll leave this for you to discover. Again, they're all in the files where it specifies the regions that we're deploying this app to and you know what deployment strategies, all of that is captured in code and all of that happens in this file. Cool. So I made the change. Let's see the diff. Uh, the only thing is that one. So if I do mage all again, it will run it. Most likely to just, just pull the new fly CTL. Uh, but even that one, I don't think that's used anywhere. So 
I'm pretty sure that's going to skip it. So let's see what is going to happen here. No, actually, no, it does. It does, for some reason, does run these tests. It shouldn't, should it? If something changes the mage file, maybe they shouldn't run. Maybe there's an improvement there. So I was expecting this to not run. Uh, we'll fix that. For now, we have a single change. Everything still passes. I think the more interesting thing is if we were to update Dagger. So what I would like to do here is update to the, oh, and sorry, not here. I want to be in the mage files directory. I'd like to update the latest Dagger. And it will do that from 046 to 050. Let's just do go, go more tidy. And then let's run Mage again. Mage all again. Cool. So now this is using the latest dagger that was released. Um, that's all I had to do. And everything else should now the the cache. Yeah, it needs to redo the cache. That's okay. This is nice and fast. So the cache was busted. It has to start all over again because these are the latest dagger engine. So you did that behind the scenes. Cool. Now everything has to be re-downloaded and so on and so forth because the engine is all new. It shouldn't take long. Now we can see here it says no test files in the directory. There are some test files there. Uh, almost done. Okay. And this is the local one. So local locally, everything looks good. So when this finishes, great. Let's create a new branch. Uh, let's say update fly CTL and dagger. Uh, and let's just commit this change. So this is one, the fly CTL, go mod Samia, all this looks good. Cool. So I want to do update uh, fly CTL and dagger to latest. Cool. Going to push this. All right, that's up there. I'm just going to click on this link and we're going to create this pull request live. By the way, you should see it. Can't automatically merge. Now I want to merge into this repository, into the main branch. And that's all good. Cool. Create pull request. What happens? The check will run, as you would expect. Let's just give it a second. There we go. Dagger pull request queued. And let's see what happens part of this check. How are we doing for time? Is everyone okay to stick around for a few more minutes? Yeah, cool. let's do it. Again, let's just see how long this takes. So the check has started. So what's going on here? It just runs go run main go. That's, by the way, another way. Oh, oh, let's go back. Go run main. What happened here? Go run main. Uh, exec command has no field or method cancel session. Okay. I wasn't expecting this to happen. Why was it running locally? And why, was it fa why is it failing in CI? Do you want a hint? Yes. Uh, check your Go version for your action setup Go. Nice. Okay. 119, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's check that out. Uh, let's go to, no, GitHub, Workflows, Dagger, uh, setup Go 119. Do we need 120? Yes. Is that what we're saying? 120. All right. So we require 120. Cool. Nice surprise. Uh, so locally, I'm running 120. I think maybe we need a check of some sort somewhere, maybe. Anyways, in the release notes, maybe we should put something. Great. So let's push this change. Uh, let's go oh, YAML. Hold a second, Gerhard. Uh, you're going to fall into the YAML trap because you're not quoting the string. 1.20 is going to fall to Ah, yes. Thank you. Oh, damn YAML. <laughs> yeah, damn YAML. Cool. Damn YAML. That was a good one. Yes, I remember Thanks, that. 1.2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Cool. All right. So let's pull that as well. I'll say um, dagger 0 0.5.0. 0, uh, so it's 0. Uh, this is the, this is it a Go SDK. I think this was the uh, a Go SDK thing. It's not the engine. So dagger Go SDK 0. 0.5.0 0 requires Go. Requires Go. I'm loving this live fix. 1.2.0. Cool. Let's see if that fixes it. Push. Cool. Let's go back. Uh, let's see. There's a new one. Should we pick any minutes? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Set up go. 
all good. 121, downloading, okay. So far, so good. Dagger 050, that is the Go SDK. Let's see. Last time when I ran it, it took less than two minutes. So I think we're about... There's a, hmm? there's a question, uh, Gerhard. Yep. Uh, Andy is asking, is there something equivalent to Mage for Python? Do we know? Mm, not that I know of. I, I think um, I remember reading uh, um, Helder saying something about tire. Tire, sorry, T-Y-R-E. Python tire. Let's check it out. Python tire. No, no, no. Python. Mm. Was it tire? T-Y-R, no, maybe? Uh, no. No, I'm probably wrong. It was something around those lines. Okay. I'll let you Google search without Piper, sharing sorry. screen. Viper? Piper, yep. Piper. T-Y-P-E-R, Piper, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Python. Let's check it out. Typer Python. This one. Okay. Cool. I didn't know. So Piper Python. Cool. All right. So what's going on here? Still downloading images. Now this will be slightly slower. There's another question uh, from Sheldon. Does caching with GitHub Actions work right now? Uh, does it work right now? In the sense that it was broken and if it's fixed now or how do you mean Sheldon? You, you do have, um, we reintroduced the uh, export import cache to the engine. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. set the proper dagger uh, variables for that, it, it is going to work with GitHub Actions. Right. Before it wasn't there. It was recently introduced like in 0, 0 3, 12 or 11, if I recall correctly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. All right, this image was luckily cached. Let's see how much longer will this take. We are at it's not so two, three minutes. Okay, that's slightly longer than expected. Um, this is the one thing which I keep noticing. Um, GitHub Actions tends to be very variable. So sometimes it can take two minutes, other times it can take four minutes. You know, it's just, it just so happens. And it's not always GitHub Actions, just to be clear. Sometimes it's whatever it's pulling down from, uh, networking related, more often than not, but there we go. So we are done within three minutes. Cool. So what happened here? What happened within this one? So we've seen a bunch of things, same as we've seen them locally. Uh, and publishing only runs in CI. So we are in CI, but we are not in the main branch. So for this to actually run the full as intended to do the publishing, to do the deploying, we need to merge. So let's merge. This looks good. All the tests pass, the linting passes. So we are looking good. It's good to pull requests. Let's uh, and merge. That's okay. Let's just take these off and then confirm squash and merge. Cool. All right, leave the branch. And if we go back to the main one, let's see the same thing happen again. I think we're a few minutes out. Any questions while yeah, we wait? Sorry. We know this. Mm -hmm. There is one, Garrett, from Andy. Uh, could it not share the build kit cache? I saw it. Um, I saw it set up with a tail scale at some point. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. So, so that was when we were reusing the same Docker engine. So it was the same Dagger engine, the same cache, the same disk. In this case, we are using um, the vanilla free GitHub runners. So if you do nothing, this is the default GitHub experience, the GitHub Actions experience. So in this case, this repository is not configured for anything. If we have a look at um, the GitHub config, uh, let me go here. All right. Um, it's, this is it. So check out, set up, go, and then go run. That's it. There's nothing else here. Okay. 
I'm looking at the other one. Would love a post page on caching if someone gets time. Would like to know how to optimize going forward. Okay, what is the context? Is the context GitLab, GitHub? What CI are you using? That would be good to know. And Sheldon, I'll, I'll put in the chat as well, but if uh, you could create an issue in our uh, repo with just some more clarification on exactly what you'd like to see. Oh, perfect. Okay. Add it there. I can create the issue um, right after this as well. Mm -hmm. uh, add it to our docs queue. Um, and while we're waiting as well, uh, Gerhard, Andy had another uh a uh, comment towards what you were talking about before. So say mm -hmm. uh, I see, so it's spinning a dagger engine on a GitHub runner Docker daemon. Correct, yes. So the default Docker daemon that starts in the context of the free GitHub runners, that's where the dagger engine gets downloaded and set up and then it's using that, yes. And it's always blank slate, always from scratch. So again, no caching. Yeah. Cool. Now we're pushing the layers. Okay, so that was something. Okay, if we go back, most cache. This is something that we haven't seen before. So it's pushing the app to registry fly. Uh, this is the app name. It's using the SHA. 256. So it's pushing a very specific image. We can see it here. It's basically using the commit. That's the tag. And then it's using a SHA-256. So it's very precise about what is deploying exactly what was built here. Um, cached, cached. It does the region. It does the deployment. And then it checks. Uh, does the deploy, running healthy. So what is this deploying? If I click here, I'm already logged in. We can see the deploy running live. Um, this is the app is being deployed and we can see the version 21. That's the one that's being deployed. And this is Singapore. Uh, this is Chicago, uh, ORD. Um, I forget the exact name. It's like the airport name. And then there's another one. Uh, let's see what this, this is Charles de Gaulle. This is Paris and this will be updated very soon. So as soon as that's finished, we will see what we have just deployed. Any any ideas? We had a couple of hints. Any guesses from the audience? Someone that is not on our team. Oh, well, we only have until this one finishes. Okay, this is still running healthy. So we'll have one more. We're deploying to three regions. Again, this is a globally distributed app. Okay, so we're seeing another one spinning up. So it didn't deploy in Paris. It switched it to Amsterdam. That's one of the regions that you can deploy to. We want one in Asia, one in the US, and one in Europe, roughly. So that's what's happening here. And it either deploys to uh, Amsterdam on Par or Paris. Cool. So that's all done. The app is deployed. Has this finished? Running healthy. This will just take a little bit to catch up. Deploy successful. And we are done. Cool. So let's just have a quick look at what we have deployed. We'll go there, we go to open Grafana. And this is what it looks like. Let's go to the last 15 minutes. This is the registry dagger IO. So whenever you're pulling the image, you're pulling the image from this app, which runs in three regions, as I said, for people in Asia and Pacific, uh, uh, sorry, Oceania, Australia, New Zealand, you're pulling it most likely from here. Uh, and this is, by the way, it's just a proxy. It just fronts all requests, everyone from Europe, and we can see roughly what is happening. Let's have a look at the last maybe 24 hours. Uh, that's what the traffic looks like. That's what we deployed, a new version of the registry 
Dagger.io.